Many years ago, people with severe arthritis in the hip or the knee underwent a fusion that left them with less pain, but also much less mobility. Well, you know what? There's new technology today being used in the spine, getting wonderful results. It's artificial disc replacement surgery. Dr. William Capicato has been an orthopedic spine surgeon in this area for over 23 years, and he's here to talk about some of the benefits of this procedure and the difference between old and new. Dr. Capicato, so nice to have you here. Well, thank you for having me. And you have brought examples of the old, of what people will have experienced for knees and, and, uh, and hips, and what's new now for not only those joints, but for the spine as well. Correct. Most, uh, most of our, your audience is probably familiar with uh, uh, friends or relatives that have had artificial hips uh -huh. or artificial knees, mm -hmm. and that's fairly standard in our, in our society. What people don't realize is that prior to having artificial hips and artificial knees, Patients with painful joints would have them fused, so mm -hmm. they were stiff. It took the pain away, but it left them with a stiff joint. Right. So very difficult for them to get through their day. With artificial mm -hmm. hips and artificial knees, we can walk, climb stairs, get in and out of a car, yeah. sit on a sofa. Makes life much easier. Um, spine technology has basically lagged behind the extremities because of the difficulty of getting at the spine, sure. to surgically mm -hmm. getting there, mm -hmm. and the dangerous, the structures sure, around, very, very vital. Yes. <laughs> and prior uh, to the disc replacement uh, evolution, which is uh, uh, new for us, uh, the classic procedure to uh, remedy severe disabling pain in the low back or in the neck was to do a fusion. Right, and we have that here. You'll see all the hardware that's involved in something like that. Correct. These were very. Uh, these are larger operations. They're effective to take away severe pain, mm -hmm. but part of the drawback is patients will lose motion. Oh yeah. And in addition to lose, it will, and that makes it difficult for them to get through their day. Mm -hmm. Makes it difficult them, for them to return to work. That just looks so painful. Even though I know it's it's geared to take away the pain, but look at that. Look at all of that in your back. Wow. Correct. Correct. Um, and part of the other problems with fusions are that it causes the discs next to the fusion to take up extra stress. Yeah. So there, that may lead to another operation four or five years after the first operation. Um, what we do have now are uh, what we call total disc replacements or artificial discs. And we have our uh, examples of the uh, uh, lumbar uh, disc. Uh, um, look how, look at here. how much simpler this looks. <laughs> and it's, this is a very focused operation. And we uh, do these operations a, a, as a, a team, uh, generally with the low back, with the vascular surgeon and the spine surgeon. And uh, my uh, uh, teammate, uh, Dr. Mike Pell or Dr. Tim Rasmussen, and I will uh, perform uh, these surgeries. And they're very, they're very focused. They're an operation that's done through the abdomen, oh, really? or through the tummy, and a small incision. Uh, to replace one disc takes about an hour. No kidding. The hospitalization time is much less than with a spinal fusion. And it does uh, leave the, uh, the, the patient, uh, preserves their motion. Mm -hmm. So they're more likely to return to work. The hospital stay is less. And they can return to a more vigorous lifestyle. It just looks so much less invasive it is. than all this hardware over it here. Um, I don't know if I can, uh, it, but part of this is that it, it will uh, move. It will move. And yeah, you get a lot more motion with this. As I can, there's uh, movable parts here. Hopefully, show to your camera. So when this is between the disc, the patient can move. Oh wow! It's a very simple concept, but it took a m number of years to develop. Dr. Cavacato, if you've already had this done, can you move to this? Um, no, you cannot uh, take apart a fusion and do a disc replacement. However, we do have the ability in case a disc above a fusion mm. wears out, mm -hmm. instead of fusing the next level, now we can do a disc replacement. And we've done That's a number amazing. of those. Uh, and you're getting great results. Actually, uh, we have probably uh, the best series in the country uh, and the largest series in the country. Um, our, uh, uh, our, results are, are, our results are better than the FDA trial, which is uh, quite notable. And I attribute that to basically work as a team and uh, it's a very focused operation. That's, what might eventually cause something like this? Could it be arthritis? You know, d just well, degenerative situation? Uh, that's one of the, uh, usually it has to do with a trauma. Mm. And then uh, patients live with disabling pain for a number of months or perhaps a number of years before oh, they come yeah. to surgery. Yeah. They've gone through the entire gamut of conservative care. Mm -hmm. They've went a number of months with pain or perhaps years. They've tried physical therapy or chiropractic 
oral medications, they've had to change their lifestyle, probably have not worked for many months. Mm. They may have had injections and other types of other types of treatment. And then there are no other non-operative mm -hmm. avenues for them. And the next step would be a surgery. The classical alternative would be to do a fusion. Mm -hmm. The newer alternative is to do a disc replacement, which uh, I've been in practice for 23 years and I would state that uh, this is probably the largest and most important advance that we've had in spine it surgery. It must be such a gratifying surgery once you know when you're finished and you see how your patient it's is very moving exciting. and how they haven't you know can tell you that they haven't had relief like that probably yes. that they can even remember in their yes, life. Yes, it's very exciting. A lot of these patients, a lot of patients who could not return to work with a fusion can return to work. Wow. So that's very, very important. And they can return to uh, quite high levels of activity wow. compared to a fusion, which most of those patients cannot. And if they were to need an, another one, it looks like it wouldn't be a problem. If you have another one that, 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 that starts to erode above it, go in and do the same thing. You're correct. Yeah. The, the likelihood of having another disc injury above a disc replacement is low. Whereas when a patient has a fusion, the likelihood of having a disc injury above the fusion is rather high. Mm. And that's why uh, many patients will have a fusion and then three or four years later may need to add to it. Sure. The likelihood of that happening with a disc replacement is much lower. Oh, this has got to be such great news for people who have had chronic back problems for years and didn't think that there was any other alternative. Uh, should, con should patients contact you directly or should they have their doctor refer them to you? Uh, both. I, Either? I, mm -hmm. I, as I said, I've been in practice for a number of years so I do have a lot of patients refer oh, friends absolutely. and relatives uh, to my uh, practice. Folks, you're going to yes. want to check this out. Dr. William Capicato, again, has been here and been in surgery in, in this area for over 23 years. He knows what he's doing. Artificial disc replacement is here to stay. It's getting great results. If you'd like to know more, call his office, I would say immediately, 881-0382, 1-888-325-7374. Tell the person you love about this going on right now. There's no need to live in pain if you don't have to, go have Dr. Capicato take a look. You just might find some real relief in the year 2009. It's going to be music to a lot of people's ears, Dr. Capicato. Thanks for being here to share this with us. Well, thank you for having me. All right, everybody. Wow. Promotional consideration and images used provided by Dr. William Capicato.